So first of all, I'm thankful, you know, I'm thankful to be back at Bria because, you know, they've, it has played a big role into my life, mostly in my journey. And, you know, we had a great time here, but mostly, you know, it's, it helped me to define my, mostly myself, that, you know, to differentiate myself between who I am and what I do. Because what we do, we play soccer, but at the end of the day, it's more, we're more than soccer players, whereby, you know, with Bria, we managed to go out in the community to be part of the community, serve kids. So that played a big role into who I am today. And I'm thankful for all the people and the support that we always had here. It's like, it was just like family. So it's really great to be back here and to serve the community and bring value to the kids and also learn something as well because learning doesn't end. But, you know, I'm thankful to be back to be part of this community. First, you know, I was at Liz Wilson's college and then I, I came to play for Bria for, some, for the summer league. By that time it was called PDL. And after that, I went to trial with the USL. For the USL Combine, I signed with Charleston Battery. I played for Charleston Battery for two years, and then I try, I went to Seattle Sounders, which bought me from Charleston. I played in Seattle Sounders for two years. We won an Open Cup, we won the Supporter Shield. We had good moments there. And then I was picked up by Colorado Rapids, played in Colorado Rapids for two and a half years. We had a good time, we had some good coaches, met some good people. After that, I was picked up by Montreal Impact, in Canada and we play with some good players as well good city and then I went to Chicago um, with Chicago Fire and that's where I finished my career in playing in the Major League Soccer and then after that I I went to New Mexico United that's where I played my last two years as a professional soccer player and my journey came to an end I've given the game all that I could and I think it's about time to do something else and that is serving kids through through coaching, help them achieve their goals and reach their full potential. For me, one of the top things any player can achieve is, you know, playing for your national team. It's one of the best moments you can achieve as a soccer player. Uh, I got lucky, not, I wouldn't say lucky, but you know, it always came down to your hard work and patience and being able to find the right people around you. It's very important. and. Just even playing as, as a soccer player, to be a professional soccer player. You can be such a good player, but at the end of the day, you need the right people around you to help you achieve, to push each and every day. So I got the opportunity to serve my country. I played in two African Cup of Nations. And, you know, the best thing about playing, serving your country is that, you know, you get to play with these players that you've been watching on TV. You get to compete on the same field. I think it's such a great experience, you know, serving your country. I've been blessed with this platform that, you know, we get to play soccer, but also we get to meet several people. We get to define who we are and finding our purpose. And, my, you know, I managed to find my purpose through serving other people. And that's where we started as Euro Micro Youth Foundation, which, you know, we focus on kids who are in need. And we use sports as a tool to help kids have access to education. And right now we are setting up a facility in Uganda where we'll be serving kids, serving the community introducing the reading culture among kids and young adults. So our facility is almost done. We're going to be having a library, two soccer fields, and a big main hall where we'll be doing different activities to serve the community and serving those in need. So it brings so much joy to see that we can serve other people because we all stand on shoulders of giants, you know, who have helped us to reach where we are. So our foundation is based on gratitude. So we're trying to pass on all the good that people did for us. This is such a great opportunity to come back and, you know, be part of Mississippi Bria. In the beginning, I was a player, but now to bring me in as a head coach, I think it's such a good thing to serve the community, but mostly, you know, to work with players who are trying to achieve their goals to become professional soccer players. That used to be our dream as well, and I managed to live my dream. But if I can help another player achieve that goal, I think it's one of the best things that you can do for any player. So I'm here to serve and help the kids reach their full potential and serve them in any way that I can to reach their goals. For, for me, as a head coach, I want us to, to win the entire championship because I think we have a good set of players that can be able to achieve that. We just need to have, you know, the right mindset, the right mentality to be able to go for that. It's very important to drive in the same direction as a group. So we just need to be able to stay focused and prepare for the for every moment that we get to be on the field and we go for it. Our main goal is to win the championship. 
environment plays a big role in, in everyone's success story. I wouldn't ask for a better environment to be in than being at Mississippi Bria. You have a good, good, good people around you who are going to support you, who are going to be there for you. From the community, from the fans, from the, from the club, the front office is great. You know, they support you in any way that they can't help you achieve. And they try to give you all that you need to prepare you to be successful on the field. You can't ask for a better environment than Bria because I believe coming to Bria, I think you have higher chances of being successful because here we build people. We want people to be successful, but also be more than just a soccer player.